My name is Megan Starling and I work for Rhodes College, a national college of the liberal arts and sciences in the fabulous city of Memphis, Tennessee. Our 2000 students come from all over the country and all over the world. They enjoy small classes. The average size is just 14 students. Meaningful relationships with their professors with a student to faculty ratio of 10 to one and big city opportunities like internships with Fortune 500 companies and research at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. All of this helps ensure that our students are career and grad school ready when they graduate. We are nationally recognized for our engagement and community service and the number of our students who are admitted to medical school. But today, we wanna tell you more about how to apply. To apply to Rhodes, you're going to start with the Common Application. The Common Application is a general application available at over 800 colleges and universities around the world, including Rhodes. It's free to apply to Rhodes. There is no application fee. The application is available online at commonapp.org, and there are different versions for students who are applying to college for the first time or for transfer students. The application is also where you're going to share biographical and contact information, as well as information about how you spend your time outside the classroom. You'll also include a personal statement or essay. The essay is no doubt an important part of the application process, though should you choose not to submit a test score, as we are now a test optional institution, the essay will vault up in value. Either way you slice it though, the essay is an opportunity for you to use your voice to tell a compelling story that makes you stand out. We do not require any extra supplements or essays to apply to Rhodes. We're going to need three main documents from your high school counselor before we can consider your application complete. First, we're going to need your high school transcript, which shows your grades until the end of your junior year. Then, we're going to need a recommendation letter from your counselor as well. Finally, we're going to ask for a secondary school report, which gives us a little bit more information about your high school. Keep in mind that your counselor's contact information is going to be uploaded to the Common Application, so we can make sure they upload their documents on time. At Rhodes College, we're currently test optional, which means we'll consider your standardized test scores only if you ask us to. If you wish to submit your test scores and you believe they'll support the rest of your application, then you'll let us know within the Common Application. Your scores can be self-reported and we'll super score them for you. If you don't wish to submit your scores for any reason, you will not be penalized for doing so. Instead, we'll just pay more attention to other components of your application. Rose requires two letters of recommendation as part of our application process. One from your college counselor or high school counselor, and one from a teacher of a core curriculum class. Now you're welcome to submit additional recommendation letters, maybe from another teacher, a coach, a former employer, but no need to go overboard. We'll get a good sense of who you are from the first two or three recommendation letters. So start thinking about who in your life can speak to your academic capabilities as well as your personal qualities. We have five application deadlines for you to consider when you apply to Rhodes, including binding and non-binding admission options. A binding plan means that you're committed to attend Rhodes if your application is accepted. With a non-binding plan, you aren't making the commitment, you're just applying. Let's go through each of these five deadlines. Our binding admission plans are known as Early Decision 1 and an Early Decision 2 where we practice rolling notification. That means if you apply under Early Decision, you'll receive your admission decision along with your financial aid within two weeks of submitting your completed application. Our non-binding admission plans include early action and regular decision. Please note that we have a fifth deadline for you and that is our priority scholarship deadline. Whether you choose early decision one, early decision two, early action, or regular decision, your application will be considered for competitive merit scholarships if you apply by December 1. You don't have to apply early decision, simply apply by December 1. You can find more information about our deadlines and dates on our website, roads.edu. Cost can be an important factor in your college decision. There are two main ways that you can finance your education through Rhodes. The first is merit scholarship. As an applicant to Rhodes, you'll automatically be considered for merit aid if you apply by December 1st, so there's nothing else you'll need to do. To be considered for need-based aid, you'll file two forms, the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, and the Rhodes Financial Supplement. Together, these forms will give us the information we need to support you best. Through the use of scholarships, loans, grants, and student employment, we hope to make Rhodes an affordable option for you and to ensure the cost is not the determining factor in your college decision. 65% of our students receive need-based aid, and when you include merit scholarships, over 80% of our students receive some type of aid. Now that you've submitted your common application to Rhodes, there are a couple additional items you'll want to add to your checklist. First, you'll want to set up and save your portal login information. 
Your Roads Portal is where you'll find a live checklist of all of your submitted application materials, and it's also where you can view your admission decision when it is released. Also, you want to make sure you're taking advantage of our visit opportunities, in-person campus visits, or schedule a virtual visit. You can take a campus tour with a current student, attend an information session, or meet with your admission counselor one-on-one. -on -one. We will host a few in-person events throughout the year. We love getting to meet you, learn more about you, and answer your questions about Rhodes. And now you're ready to get started with your common application, or head to Rhodes.edu to schedule a visit or connect with your admission counselor. We wish you the best with your college search.